How y'all doing today? This is Salon Boy Brick, aka Brick Delivery Sis, and you are tuned into Onassis Gamings. Let me let me fix this up. We are back with another one. You already know what is about to happen, man. I know you looking at the title. Oh, y'all don't see the title. All right, so let me break this down for y'all. A few hours ago, I had two of the artists that I've already reviewed drop some new tracks. All right? The first artist we about to drop with is Mil uh, Millie's. Millie's. All right? Just came out with a new track. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me show you what this Right there. Stupid Love. Millie's. Official video. Just dropped an hour ago. You already know what's about to be, man. Already know, you know what to expect from Millie's, man. He not drop his average is like 20, 25, 21 or some shit like that. You know what I mean? So I'm already looking for this to be a banger. I'm already looking for this to be a banger. But I'm going to listen very close to the words. Because from the video, just by, just with him in the sink, washing blood off, I already know this is about to be something crazy. I don't know why these dogs barking in the background, man. I don't know if y'all hear it or not, but these dogs loud as fuck right now. But just in case you don't hear them, my bad. If you do hear them, fuck them dogs. Be quiet. Look at him. Barking like crazy. I don't know who I don't know who the fuck back there. But it is what it is, man. You already know when it comes to this shit. I'm not tuning off anything. You getting it straight raw as always, man. This is how black nations, this is how uh 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 Onassis gaming, this is how we do when I do my reactions, man. You get the live, uncut, raw, straight. No edits, no deletes, no nothing. You get it straight from the rip. So if a nigga stutter, he stutter. And I know y'all love it like that. But like I said, Millie's just dropped a new track. We about to listen to it. And I'm going to give you my purest form of reaction. So I'm hoping this shit is fire. As always, we are judging on four different categories. Flows, wordplay, punchlines, metaphors. No, no, no. Wordplay. Multiples, punchlines. That's why I say metaf metaphors and wordplays are kind of like the same shit. I always say that. All right, so let's rock, man. Let's get right into this shit because I know this shit about to be fire. You hitting up, lavish? Yeah. Falling out with people that I used to love. Only see them on the gram, that's computer love. Blind loyalty for you, I call it stupid love. Jump out the window for my kinfo, what I do for love. My heart heavy when betrayal hits. Disingenuous people been wearing on my soul. On murder, we supposed to stand on my business. It's like everybody out here trying to play a role. How I'm calling you my dog if I can't call on you. No, I'd stand up under pressure, never fall on you. No, I'd hide you from the people if the law on you. You only loyal to opportunity that's not loyal. Woodrow Wilson, 4D, we made the pop boy. Sleeping on the floor, waking up and selling raw. But now I'm rocking stages, inspired when I hear him roar. And only time you need something when I get a call. With the bongo, we've been lacking combos. Gotta watch for snakes in this jungle like the Congo. With the time go, you know it's yours, it's mine, bro. I never did no greedy, shit was there when you needed it. Tell me, is it jealousy? Or maybe it's these hoes. I would've gave you all them bitches, ain't my fault that they chose. I hate to even think about it, but that's the way that it goes. Now I'm chasing dreams without you and attaining my goals, damn. Falling out with people that I used to love. Only see them on the gram, that's computer love. Blind loyalty for you, I call it stupid love. Jump out the window for my kin for what I do for love. My heart heavy when betrayal hits. Disingenuous people been wearing on my soul. On murder, we supposed to stand on my business. It's like everybody out here trying I used to play to think a role. That it was us, but it was always you. Cause the second I got money, that shit bothered you. Never believed the shit they said, but it was always true. No, I hop up by that V, make something fall for you. Tell me, was this shit material? Material. In the back of the phantom betrayal hit me at my highest. That shit had me at my lowest. Love you so crazy. much, I was biased. I love you so much, I was biased. Not bad. Why is everybody hitting me with these shorts, though, man? 
Why is everybody only doing short ass music? That show was only two minutes and twenty seven seconds long. You hit me with one ver you hit one hook, one verse, and then another hook, and you just try to make millions on it. It's called fast money, man. This is the real drug game right here, man. Fast money. You know? That's just what it is though, man. But that 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 shit wasn't bad though, man. It was definitely one of them real ass tracks that he be doing, man. Definitely one of those real ass tracks that he be out here doing. And I gotta give it to him. I gotta give it to him. As always, you know, Millie's always producing. He always bringing the rawest and 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 dropping some good ass tracks. You mean? All right, but let's get right into the reviews, man. Because I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know if it's because I ain't got the good the good headphones today. And I can't really hear that shit as much as I would love to. But that joint was not hitting how it was supposed to. You know what I'm saying? It did not hit the way it was supposed to at all. At all. So Yeah, man. It didn't it didn't hit like it was supposed to. I think that shit was should have hit a little bit harder than that. It should have definitely hit a little bit harder than that shit. Hold on. I'm gonna switch it up and put it in this joint. Yeah. Cause when I put it in here, I could be able to hear it a lot more. The only problem is that I can hear myself echo. But it's cool. Alright. So let's get right into it. Flows. Hmm. I'm going to have to give that a five. Like, straight up. Only reason why is because he was only balancing with what he knew. You know I mean? With the beat. The beat. And the beat was a little, like, it was a little unique. So, the one good thing about the beat was that how it uh, was doing the drops. Like, like the whole kick would stop and it would just be that hi-hat and that snare just going off and them claps. And then that's when, when he started hitting it with the hooks, then that's when the drop comes back in. So, when he's... When the when the drop is not in there, the melody is a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? So that's what really threw it off a lot. I probably should have gained that shit on four, but I'm going to throw it at a five only because uh, that second verse, when he started hitting it with the melody, he actually changed it up a lot, man. So that's what really be able to boost it up a little bit, gave him that little bit of an uh to be able to get to that five. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So flow was a five. Wordplay. Wasn't really in there, man. Definitely was expecting a lot more, but depending on what the track is like or what the track you're talking about or how you hooking it, it's really going to be able to change the wordplay because you you will know when to add metaphors, when not to add metaphors. Not every song, love songs or songs you talking about your niggas or you talking about death, you need to be adding metaphors in. But when you rocking songs where you're trying to show your talent, you're trying to show your skill, you're trying to really drop that shit, Oh, yeah, best believe punchlines and, and metaphors and wordplay. That shit better be a part of it or you you ain't going to get a high score. Not from me anyway. You know what I'm saying? So with the with the uh, wordplay, I'm going to have to give that one a four. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just sit on a four with that one. We at nine right now. Multiples wasn't really in there and everything. You know, I was really expecting some multiples or something like that. But that's not really his rhyme scheme. I'm starting to understand that a lot more the more I keep listening to Millie's. So that's not really his rhyme scheme. I'm going to give that one a three. Damn. Five, four, three? That shit just going down. All right, Millie. You mean you 12? Shit. You're going to need a 10 to be able to hit your average. But, I mean, it is what it is. Depending on the song and how you really put it out there and all of that, man. And how you hit your hooks and how you hit your punchlines and how you ride the beat. It depends on the score. And this is just me speaking. You mean other motherfuckers might listen to this shit and be like, yo, this shit is a 10. A hundred percent. Boom, 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 boom. Ten. But to me, I'm giving you the realest things that you can work on, things that you can really put out there, and you don't have to be able to switch it up. Just because this might be a low score does not mean it's not a banger track. You know what I'm saying? That's the only difference. I don't want you to think when a motherfucker says that, yo, you got an eight out of 40, that that's a bullshit ass track. That's not. That's not the case. What I'm saying is that the way you rolled this beat, the way you rocked out, you could have did it a little bit better. If you decided to do it better, that's good. If you didn't, it's all right, man. As long as you feel successful about the track and you can reach the people that you want to reach with your message, you fucking succeeded, bro. Fuck what the fuck what the rating says. I mean, so yeah, so m multiples is three. Punchlines, uh, three. Um, you know, punchlines, wordplays, they kind of go together and everything. And, uh, actually, oh, whoa, actually, this is the one time I'm actually going to backtrack a little bit, man. I'm actually going to revert that. I'm not going to give it a three. I'm going to give it a four. All right. 
I'm going to give it a four, actually, because he was saying some uh, a few good things and all of that, man. He was speaking real shit. It wasn't no punchlines where he was uh, really trying to throw his talent out there, but he was speaking some real shit and really putting that shit out there, man. So, all together, I think it's 16. 5, 4, 9, 3, 12, 4, 16. 16 out of 40 is not a bad score at all, Millie's. Definitely keep going. I appreciate the fact that you did this song. I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to react to this shit. So keep bringing more, man, because I'm focused and I'm watching y'all, man. I'm definitely watching, man. Y'all, you, you are definitely a fan. I mean, I'm definitely a fan of you. Like, you definitely got a fan out of me is what I'm trying to say. So, I mean, just keep on doing what you're doing, man. Keep on pushing. Never stop. And uh, hopefully you reach the pinnacle that you're really trying to reach because I'm pretty sure you're still hungry and you want to make some moves, man. So keep doing what you're doing because I guarantee you one of those joints is going to put you on the map internationally. So never stop. Keep spitting your realness. Keep dropping them bars. And keep doing what you're doing. This is Salon Boy Brick, a.k.a. Brick the Lyricist. You are tuned into Onassis Gaming. And we are out. Peace.